Wizards come out in the zone. Out of that timeout, shot clock down to four. LaMelo ball with the left hand, gets the roll. Do the math. He plays 48. What does he get? I, I can't do the math that quickly as Plumley throws down the alley-oop from LaMelo Ball. Nine, again, it's 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 a crazy convoluted yeah. situation as LaMelo Ball finishes with the left and the foul. Misses that one. Battle for the offensive rebound. LaMelo Ball now a deep three. That's what they do. Montrez Harrell with the dunk. We see guys like this play right here, untouched, untouched in the pick and roll game for lobs or layups. Ubre will pull up for three, back rims it. Martin's got the offensive rebound now. Ball will launch from downtown. Ball to Harrell. And Montrez Harrell gathers and throws it down. We saw a lot of that from Montrez Harrell. And when he gets it under the basket, how quick he gets off two feet is incredible. Ish Smith turns it over. McDaniels in transition. Nice Euro step to slow himself down. That will force a timeout for Wes Unsell Jr. We've seen flashes where they've been able to sustain, but not for long periods of time. Oubre knocks down another three. Passed up the 15-footer, Hachimura. Now Carey has it, goes up, misses, gets his own rebound, and now has it taken away. He's not a shoot-first guy, so is that what you need, or do you want a scoring point guard? I think you always need a scoring point guard. It doesn't matter what team you're on, because that's the way the league is going right now. Like Denny is, because I asked Denny about midway through the season, look at LaMelo Ball, that is not an easy shot. He is a magician. What do you think it is this year where your shot has improved? And he goes, you know, I really don't know, but I think it's my legs. My legs have just gotten stronger. And LaMelo Ball is back in the game. Rozier again. He can catch fire in a hurry. Rozier has got two threes on the day, both coming in the last two possessions. The positive thing about it is the changes that were made and the core of this team, you could see evolve. Gafford can't finish. Paul's got the rebound, his seventh. Up ahead, here's Harrell who throws it down and hangs on the rim for an exclamation point. Andres Harrell, we saw him do this a lot for the Wizards. Now he does this for the Hornets. He's from North Carolina. He's playing here in North Carolina, and he's trying to make the most of it. Montrezl Harrell, a free agent at the end of the year. I got a, I got an excuse for my bold prediction today. That I got to throw somebody under the bus for it. A mellow ball just hits the three. He's got 21 points, eight rebounds, nine assists. The easy road rode out. Easy, easy. Ball knocks down the three again. The 2021-22 season is now over. The Wizards will finish 35 and 47, Charlotte 43 and 39, and the Hornets have some more basketball to play. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.